I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Did everybody have a chance to see the minutes of us? You suggested some corrections, and I think she made those. Did you get a chance to see them? Um, no, but I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's up here, stated that Sarah would. It's just simply I wasn't telling you what the policy was, I was telling you what the other thing was. So it was instead of the stated that the membership was encouraged and paid. Then here. You changed to this? I changed to this, yes. Okay. okay, with and those changes are reflected here in our paper copies, but not necessarily on what's online currently. Correct? Not with what's attached to the minutes right now, currently, okay. no. So do I hear a motion to uh, accept the copy the paper copy of uh, the, the minutes with the current uh, changes that have been indicated in our paper copy. I so moved it. Sure. I'll second it. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. I'll the same sign. Pass three zero. Okay. Put a comment. Okay. Any commissioner comments and committee reports? Uh -huh. I have none. I have none. None here. Elected officials. Any new business? Uh, yes. I noticed in the bills we've been getting some requests for some credit cards with no sales receipt attached. I think a sales receipt needs to be attached for them to have that. Uh, charge approved. Approved. Is that was that credit card only, or was that just uh, in, in, in general? Was there? I, had, I think the ones that I've seen was credit card. But that's with anything, I think. So, is there a form that should be attached to any receipt for reimbursement? We have a purchase order for them. So maybe we should just yeah. require the form be attached, and the form be filled out. And well, we already have a procedure we're not following. That's I'm not going to mention any names, but there was one uh, employee that charged some stuff. It wasn't that much at Walmart, and it just said Walmart so much approved, or we signed off on. And there was, you know, what what did they buy? Was it paper goods or was it personal goods? Or I just think it's good business. Well, to we should, we should tighten it up. Yeah. Well, I bet you we already have a procedure in place. I'm going to say we have. Maybe this need to be reminded. Maybe just start to slip a little bit. Maybe that's a good thing to review. Either maybe we could review next week uh, before we do our uh, the week after is our reorganization meeting, and uh, next week would be something to put on the agenda. That's a great idea. What? Put what on the agenda for next week? Yeah. Um, this employee charges or. Yeah, employee, employee uh, procedures for purchasing and reimbursement. Yes. Because I think you had mentioned in workshop this morning even about maybe having the department heads sign off their employee is the one that, you know, maybe initial that, you know, so they have seen that what's being put in for. And you want this for next week, right? Mm -hmm. January 2nd? But we might just pull out the you know, January second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just good. get the policy you already have. It's probably complete. If not, we could be maybe pick some amendments. Yeah, I don't think there's anything yeah. untoward. I think it's just maybe. I'm not saying that right. that, that there's any ill doing. I just think it's for business. I think we need to get back to where our employees are more. Confident. Yeah, it's typical. You you stop paying attention all of a sudden. Stuff sh sneaks in. Good. Okay. Any other new business? Um, maybe it'd be a good time to approve. We've got this bill for the KCADC, which is the Kansas City Area Develop Area Development Council, and uh, for the amount of seventy-five hundred dollars. I'm just wondering, do we? 
I would like to have more conversation. I mean, we are just about, so this will be the third type of economic development uh, thing we're going to be enrolled in that we're paying. Are we getting too much duplication? I mean, we're getting one to hold us over until they approve us. Now we're getting this one. and I just don't know. Well, so far we've signed on to for the okay. remainder of uh, Mocan and the kind of over to Mark. Yeah. And then now we're getting this. And they're all basically. Well, we also have both well, facilitation. We have several different economic things. Evidently, I don't know whether it was a local agreement or at least a handshake agreement, maybe seven or eight years ago, the county agreed to pay these types of things. Well, you were city commissioner. Did you see any bang for your buck? Well, you know, a lot of that stuff, that, well, a lot, a, lot truth, a lot of that stuff was booked in the background. So at the meeting in here, the city manager told us they thought it was well worthwhile. Yes. They, were getting, they were getting some leads. And we have been paying this. And maybe we need a conversation what we should and shouldn't pay or in the future. But, uh, well, I, I certainly wouldn't. If we are, if we apply and are accepted to mark, I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't stay with Mocan and Mark and Kate. See, okay, so. well, M Mark recommends that we belong to the case. So that's something that when you get your committee formed, that kind of ties in that you might talk about this. No, well, that's that's a different subject, but it's kind of it would be working fun. together. Okay, we could broach it. Yeah. Okay. Well, do I hear but a motion? Right, but right now we got to vote on this. Yeah. Which. I would move that we pay the dues for 2018 for the Kansas City Development Association. Is that right? KC uh, Area Development Council. Area, Area Development Council. In the amount of $7,500. I'll second it. I don't know what they're doing for us, but I'll second it. We'll at least one more year, I guess, and then see where we get. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Pass 3 0. Seth, come on up. They're right there, talking. Right on time. Okay, so I went back, and got the uh, price for those graded tires from Armstrong. The actual tire price, the state contract, same price across the board. He was going to be seventy dollars for the install and the mounting of the tire. So instead of the hundred dollars that Dylan you know, so. You know, that's where we want to go. Um, go with Armstrong to do it. Um, Thirty dollars tar. How many tires are you Seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. That's too well, hard. six tires actually getting mounted, and seven tires are back up if not going to the other button. So eventually, be mounted. Okay. Now, was you going to drive the grader to Dillon's, and they was going to physically take them off? Correct. Well, then there was your uh, savings. Probably your thirty dollars savings because you got to. Employee over there. Well, know. we drop it off. We have some that pick up, so. I was going to say something like that. Is that patrol? I mean, can it just be basically out there and patrol out that way that day that you wanted to change the tires, or would you have to drive a deadhead or patrol to this one? The way I'm thinking of, at least one is already out there, so it wouldn't be such a big deal. Um, Unless he's in town, which we can make it where it's out there. So, what's your recommendation? Really, either one. They're both great you know, companies to work for. The so, which one is your recommendation? <laughs> <laughs> um, on this spot. The only thing I, I mean, and I'm sure Armstrong does, you know, would hold the tire. I know Dylan's basically, they come in, they hold on to him until the actual, you know. Um, I know with this blade, though, they're going to go right on. So, if we want to save the. Two hundred ten dollars. <coughs> we can take it out the Armstrong and just have them do it. I'm I'm fine with either. You know, I just thought it was another in county uh, business that could provide them. Definitely would go with cheap, the cheapest. But if they're close enough, uh, I I go with either one. I'm like driving that grader out there. So it's, uh, the cost point. Yeah, if we got a grader, if there's a grader out there working, but now. Just to drive it to our shop. Well, you're going to take the tires off at the shop and just take No, them. they're going to just take the machine to them. And oh. they do it all right there on the spot. 
So I would say keep it. Is that a motion? Yes. So you make a motion to, if we have to drive the machine that far, or we have to drive the machine within town, I, I think that's a no brainer. I'd make a motion to do it within town. It does. I was going to go down to $30. Is that the, the PO right there? there? Yeah, I had it all crossed off. I didn't know which one we'd go with. What I should have okay. said, let well, you make the call, because that's more or less your call, really. Yeah, well, I mean, the 200, yeah, if it was that close, it's, if the blades out west, yes, I'm going to go with Armstrong. Blades here in town. I also like to uh, spread the business around because it kind of wakes up somebody if you just keep doing all the business here. I'm not saying no, we haven't used Armstrong in a while, so that's. I'll leave it up to you. How's that? I'll rescind my well, motion. <laughs> then can I get a. I guess I just need approval for this amount. Up to this amount on tires. I, I would move that we approve the purchase of the tires at Seth's discretion. Okay. I'll second that, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Not so the price. I mean, it, it is a state bid, so the, state bid. The, 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 per, the price of the tires is the same. So with that, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? That's 3 0. Okay. That works. Thank you. Uh, oh, I think you should. Yes. 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 No. I didn't know we had a blade on your pickup. I thought we had the blade on the heavy, the heavier truck. Oh, we got one on it too. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to outfit that one with an actual salt spreader and eliminate our single axle truck. It's, the guy has to take that, that, that one blade is in out. your truck or that one is in the other truck? The other truck. The green truck? No, no I mean the new dump truck. The little dump, the new ton and a half. Oh. Truck. I'd like to outfit that with a small spreader because right now they're pushing everything with the actual 450 and then they're taking the single axle out and salting afterwards. So if we can just get one truck and the idea. Do we have the spreader now just remounted? Or no, we have the first uh, spreader that fits that truck. I don't think the spreader in that uh, single axle dump truck would fit in. So it's not, I mean, it's, it's going to cost a couple thousand dollars, so I'm too worried about it, but it's something in the future I'd like to look into. Okay, you have a PO here for Volvo Greater Repair, an amount of. $7,743.20 uh, to GW Van Keppel. Well, that's kind of pending after they open it up and see what they got. We know that for sure, and it could be that much more. For right? sure, that's that. If the chain drives and all that need replaced, a little more, but until they turn it over, I don't know. I guess the approval would be to at least get it down there and get that going or something. They find a further go like that for three weeks before they go further into that. I move to approve the repair in the amount of seventy seven hundred and forty three dollars to um twenty cents. And twenty cents, I'm sorry, to uh GW Van Kep Keppel. Me personally would like to see him break into it and get a total price before we commit to this doing a pathway. Or if they come up with Another fifteen, eighteen thousand bucks. And we'll just be down a blade if we don't have it repaired. It'll be our problem. Well, we haven't got it in the budget. I wish we did. No, it's for eighteen, but we don't. For a new one, you're saying? No. Well, yeah, because we could. What we've been doing here lately is you know, the used is the first year payment, so you spread your payment out, but we you still got to have enough in the pool of budget. To the least purchase price, which we don't have. And I would still like to see what all was wrong with this before. Did they, I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll second the motion, but have them tear into it and then say, before they do anything, give you, have them give you a number of what it's going to cost. I know right? it's going to cost a good chunk just to get them to tear into it. I mean, that's a lot of labor. It's a lot of parts to move off there. I mean, it's like they're lifting the whole machine up and pulling the whole rear end out of it. Okay, then let me ask you this. If we're only committing to this $7,000, then just turn the one side off and... Correct. And that's, that's the plan. Uh, they're going to look into the other side while they're that on side. this side or however they can do it. And then at that point, they're going to call us and let us know. And we may, depending on how busy we are, we might have a trucking company come pick the blade up. It's, the guy don't like taking that blade that far 
being so oversized. I mean, we have the capability, but going down to the city, they don't want to go a little hole. Hmm. It, it will. It's just a lot for it, I guess you could say. It's for the guys that aren't comfortable driving to Kansas City. Most of them aren't where they have to take this machine. We have the four. Well, you and get off I seventy, then you go down south on what is that? I'm not 100 percent sure. That ain't too I far. just know yeah, Mark Gentry's right. been one that's taken it the past, and he just Bickle does Myers, not like Bickle <laughs> Myers slaughter plant. That was at Rainbow Express. So, oh, Southwest Chesley. Boulevard, Southwest Boulevard. It's not very far. Because Jeremy can haul it, so I think he's more comfortable hauling the city. So I can. We'll try to do it ourselves if we have capability to do it. Okay, you did second it. Yeah. It's been moved and second it. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Pass three zero. Okay. That's one of those deals where. You haven't got a whole lot of choice, but I'm not sure that's the right choice. You know, you understand the way out. Well, without, I see those dollar signs coming in. It's thinking, you know, blades. I mean, blades worth it, but it's not. You know, it's more machine needs to go, but we got to keep it. Right we got 40 in the motor, or 30 in the transmission. No, it's one, but it's one of those. I I checked with Jeremy's off today. He took half day, take vacation rest of the year, but. Ryan didn't know and he couldn't have the file that told us. So. I'll just have him make me a copy. Okay. I got a copy. Thank you. And that's all I have, unless you all have anything for me. Can I think of anything else? Uh, uh, we are going to start letting Department Head know that we're going to have a strategic plan, and you may start thinking of where you'd like to see your department. A year from now, three years from now, five years from now. Okay. And that will be as, as and uh, like you would like to see done. And we're going to start the budget process way earlier. And this is probably this kind of starting. Okay. Great. That's an awesome idea. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Any older unfinished business? County Council updates. I don't have anything. The week uh, flew by. I don't have anything. Can stretch the sound a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we got the last abstracting back on the tax sale. I've been working with Roger Denton on getting it set up in Microsoft Access, which is a database program. I expect we'll be ready to, uh, to file that next week, um, if not later this week. But, um, so the, the new tax sale case will be filed soon. Um, will that be basically still uh, probably able to go in May, or you know, that was our initial goal. Yeah, I think that's probably. Yeah. What's yeah, the timeline the efforts of file? Well, we have to get service or process on all of the owners, uh -huh. and some of them we serve by uh, publication, which is the least reliable method of service or process. Uh -huh. so, uh, we have to show that we've made a diligent effort to find the people that may have an interest in the property. So it. Uh, Depends a little bit on the specifics. You have to look into the specifics of the people. Uh, some of them, we believe, are, may, may be deceased. Um, and so we have to check to see if there are probate proceedings, etc. Things like that. So um, Some of them may just be hard to find. Some of them may be, have moved. Um, so we'll just have to see. Um, then after they're served, everyone has uh, at least 21 days to file an answer after they're served. If they're served by publication, they have 46 days, a minimum of 46 days to file an answer. Um, and the court will, will, will address the answers as they're filed. And, and it's fairly uncommon to have <coughs> substantive answers filed. In the tax sale, we've had a few, but mostly they're 
looking to donate things, I think. I think it was a little more time we didn't get this paid, that kind of response. Mm -hmm. um, but that's kind of going to be on a case by case basis. The, uh, the federal government also has a longer time to answer. I think they have uh, maybe 90 days to find an answer. So you talk about the of the sales. But they're, they're easier to serve, though, because you can do them by mail. Um, yeah, I think mails. I think May is probably doable, yeah. Okay. Um, here. And then we have the resolution for minimum maintenance roads. Do you have that ready? Beginning. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, we were going to do it last week and we, we got yes, we, postponed. Yes, we do. Um, do you have it in there? She doesn't have it in my packet today. It's not in here. I, I, can, I can turn it. So I can get another packet from last week. He's going to go on. He's here. I've been through here. It's not in here. It may have not been from last week. I think it was in last week's packet, but it, it is not in here because I've been through these. Did we pick a day for the public hearing? Uh, I think we discussed it, but I don't think we uh, took the uh, uh, created a date. Mm -hmm. I think it was on the twenty third, wasn't it? Sixteenth or twenty third. Seemed like twenty third stuck out. So which date did you want to have the part here? 23rd, Con? Mm. 23rd day of being late? Yes. Time one thirty. Sounds good. How many originals do you need to print? What? How many do we need? Just two, probably. Really, she just needs one. One's all we need then. Well, we'd have to know if I need the townships to come in that way. Oh, we will. Okay. That's giving me fair enough warning. This time of year, we have to be able to. I doubt if there's any there. Well, possibly we, possibly you know, the ones you, that are. Basically, the two, I guess, Mount Weather and Rainbow's only two. No, we have three. Three. There was three. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. Well, hopefully, those three will attend. The other ones that didn't apply for it, they probably won't be able to. I'd say that. No. I think they just figure it's a formality. But, mm. Okay. It's kind of like you would think we would have attendance from the uh, budget hearing, you know, and 
we don't. Maybe Pat ought to be here, but it says presentation of petitions, memorials, and remonstrances. What is a remonstrance? What is I, I'm not familiar with that word. I'm not either. <laughs> Put everybody on the spot. <laughs> That's why you're remonstered. <laughs> <laughs> not that bad. That's the only time I've ever seen that word. You think all the taxes uh, done, or is that you think all the taxes done? You know, people mail it in. I don't know if they got through all those. I haven't been in the office. <clears throat> I don't know. Seems like everybody's kind of like on hangover Christmas hangover today. I mean, no. yeah, the whole town seems slow. Downtown seems slow. No. The restaurant yeah. seems slow. And yeah, the weather. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Send that text, get you back closer to me. Mm -hmm. I can send that text back to you and get you closer to me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Well, we had a good Christmas, all the kids. We had to kind of do it in stages because some had to go to Harvard. We had a good time. All the kids come home and have a good Christmas. Good. Went to my sister's council grove. Everybody was. The resolution number, um, Michelle's not here. And, uh, I don't know exactly what the number is. 1431. Oh, okay. Oh, are you the one that. Uh -huh. 1431. <laughs> She's. I remember timely. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 1431 2017. Well, it's 2017 1431. Oh, I got that in the work. Well. No, it's 1431. We have one that's not in there yet. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, this is three pages. Do I need to read at least part of this, or is it the? Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these descriptions. But do uh, you think, or you, you can, or they'll be recorded the minutes. Whatever you want to do is fine. I'll I'll read a portion of it there for the audience so they get a. Uh, Taste of where we're going with this. This is resolution number 2017-1431. Uh, resolution commencing proceedings to declare certain roads within Atchison County as minimum maintenance roads. Whereas the Board of County Commissioners is authorized to commence proceedings to determine whether certain roads within the county or on the county line are used occasionally or are used only by a few individuals and Whereas the Board of County Commissioners of any county finds that any road within the county or the county line is used only occasionally or is used only by a few individuals, the Board may declare the road to be a minimum maintenance road under KSA 68-5-102 and whereas Capioma Township has suggested that the following roads may be Use occasionally or may be used only by a few individuals to wit with a lengthy, well, how many is there? Probably two dozen or a dozen and a half roads that are on their list. Uh, then we also has 
whereas Mount Pleasant Township has suggested that the following township roads may be used or occasionally may be used occasionally or may be used only by a few individuals. They have 17. 17. And then the third one is Walnut Township has suggested that the following township roads may be used only occasionally or may be used by a few individuals, and they have three. And then uh, for proceeding there, now therefore it may it be resolved that the Board of County Commissioners shall hold a public hearing in the Commission Room, first floor, Atchison County Courthouse, 423 North 5th Street, Atchison, Kansas, on the 23rd day of January 2018 at 1 o'clock. PM for the purpose of considering whether any of the aforementioned roads should be declared to be a minimum maintenance road, be it further resolved that any person wishing to appear at such hearing and give evidence or testimony thereon may do so, be it further resolved that the conclusion of such hearing the board shall determine what roads or parts of roads described above shall be declared to be a minimum maintenance roads. Be it finally resolved that the resolution shall be effective upon publication in the Atchison Globe, adopted by the Board of County Commissioners of Atchison County, Kansas, this 26th day of December 2017. Those uh, road descriptions will be on the county website and where else? Well, we'll and publish the resolution and publish it in the resolution. Okay, so if people need more clarification on as what roads are specifically mentioned, please look them up. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to add that we are just okaying what the townships have declared they think, what roads they would like to see minimum maintenance. The commissioners are not picking these roads. These are coming through the local townships, and then we're just approving the recommendations if we have no um, money to voice against it. Good point. Do I hear a motion to accept the resolution? Still I second it, Mr. Chairman. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass 3 0. You got him on the same one while you were gone. I posed that to the other ones. And what what is that, that word for? For context, I think I have an idea. Do we need any executive sessions? Enforceful, reproachful protest. Is a remonstrance according to uh, dictionary.com. Do we need executive session? I don't know. So Eric's going to use that name word again, aren't you? Yeah, probably. probably uh, I'll spring it on somebody. See if they remember. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you were really excited about My wheels way. are turning. You figured me out oh, already. Yeah. Oh, no, that's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If there's no executive session, do I hear anything else? Does anybody want to? I move to adjourn it to 134 and a half. I will second it. Then move and second it. All in favor say aye. 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 We are now adjourned. <clears throat> Okay. Well, that's a record, isn't it? Yeah. Well, at least a record for me. So I'm still recording. So well. What's that? I'm still recording. You've gone the second one down. Stop recording. I, I know the mouse is being. Oh. Naughty mouse. I.